Okay, update on the installation process. So what I decided to do is I put all these foam boards against the sheeting, foil outside, and then I'm gonna put another set facing foil inside. So I have a pocket of air up there at the top. Let's see, let's take a look up here. So it's gonna be like this. So there's gonna be a pocket of air trapped in the wall. And I'm hoping that will provide a nice insulation. What do you think? Dumb idea or not? And then I'm gonna put some acoustic drywall over the stud so That'll keep some of the noise inside. You know these machines are noisy. So some acoustic drywall and put a little flooring and this thing's gonna be ready to fire up. So yeah, I'll update you again as soon as I get this insulation done. Okay, let's see where we're at today. Pretty much 99.9% .9 of insulation is done. I framed out the ceiling. Got electrical plug, this is for the light. Now, I'm going to get some drywall, acoustic drywall to um, Finish off the walls. I need to drill a couple holes here. Probably, man, I should have one for each machine with some dryer vents coming out the front. That's what I'm thinking of trying to do. Plug a unit here, like on a shelf, vent, come along here, go this way, into a dryer vent blowing outside. Cool air from the AC coming in, cooling the room. Machines blowing all hot air outside. That's the plan. Insulated walls, we got this facing out, this facing in. Trap the air in between. I need to get in here to, this goes to the main sub panel, so I need to get into there. So I left this open, I'm not quite done with that. Once I'm done, seal that off a little better. But I need to run another power cord through here. I'm putting a meter. I have a meter that's going to meter how much electricity this room is going to run. Well, pull, I should say. It's going to let me know on a monthly basis, whatever day. I could figure it out based on week, per month, per day, how much this room's costing me based on my kilowatt charge. So that's going to help me keep my cost in check. I'll show you that once I install it. It's a really cool system. But, yeah, then I got the AC in. I got to seal these cracks in there. And yeah, I get a lock, door handle, and lock. Take off that, put the back grill on. And stucco in the roof still needs to be done. So this is going to be stuccoed 
All this will be stuccoed to match this. It'll look like it's all one unit. And then the roof will match the upper roof. Yeah. Kind of didn't want to waste that space up there, but that'll be fine. Keep it nice and square. And feel like drywalling all that in and boxing it out. But I don't know. Who knows? I may change my mind. I may still move that. But right now, I'm not going to. So we'll see. Okay. Peace. Okay. Insulation is pretty much complete. It's as much as I think I'm going to do. I do need to go through and trim all these little excess pieces off. So I'll trim this flat so when I put the soundproofing and drywall in, it won't be an issue. But as you can see, I foamed the crap out of this place. I'm going to get one more can to fill in these little cracks. And that little crack, but yeah, I tried to fill in every crack to make it airtight. Yes, yeah, so. the ceiling ones are a pain. So I put little nails to hold the panels up so you can see. So I'm just going to take those out right now because the foam is dry. Uh, that just help hold it up there while the foam is wet because otherwise it keeps dripping. As you can see, the stuff is messy. What a pain, but definitely is a good sealant. Got a little cooler. Okay, this is update on the mining room. So what I'm gonna do now, I have this rubber noise insulation that I'm gonna put over the studs. Cordless staple, save time. These are the vents that are gonna go through this wall to vent the heat. So they'll be sticking out there. I'm not sure the configuration, probably just boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna put this on now. 3.2 millimeter sound barrier. It's made of recycled tires. You can see the thickness there. So I'm gonna staple this up and then put drywall over that. 
That should help dampen any of the high pitched sound. So, you know, keep the noise down. Okay, so I got the soundproofing material up. I ran out of material, so I was only able to do this wall and this wall. I'm not able to do that part. I was able to do this corner. But I think the, this is like a sound dampening material, so it's going to help just having even this little bit in here. This wall has a whole nother exterior wall. So it has that, the stucco, this double insulation, plus the two by fours. So this wall is gonna be fine. This wall is two by six with three quarter plywood, double insulation, sound mat, and then half inch drywall I'm putting over top of it. So now I'm gonna go put the drywall up. I just went and got that. Hopefully five sheets will do it. So I'll post another update as soon as I get some drywall in here. Okay, people update i don't know what number update it is but drywall done now i'm about to mud it fill in the cracks tape it off mud it up and then after i mud it i will probably put a little floor down don't think i'm gonna paint it just leave it mudded and then floor put the ac in and then figure out some little shelving and put the holes for the vents. Yeah, I gotta do that. Okay, another update. Got drywall up. The mud has been done. One coat of mudding. Um, it's pretty much dry. Look in the corner maybe. Tiny bit and I gotta go fill the cracks. I wear it dried, you know one more coat of mud and yeah this room is going to be ready to paint if I want to paint it put a little floor I'm gonna put the AC in and actually lights working it's got a motion sensor on the light it's pretty cool just leave the switch on when you come in light comes on and when you leave it'll shut off Let's do some sanding. So this is an update for today. Pretty much ready to start putting stuff in here. Got it painted. Got the AC unit in. We got the plugs all set. Got the floor in. So yeah, it's ready to move some stuff in. I gotta put a meter coming through there and the internet cable coming through there coming from the box over here and then you can start to see me hooking it up okay I'm going to be installing this meter this is going to help me know 
how much electricity this room is using. So I'm going to put this box on the wall here, mount this into the box. And then wire this to it. This will allow me to connect it to the network so I can pull up a web page that will have its own IP address and I'll be able to pull up the um, web page that will show me um, electricity usage based on day, month, whatever date I choose. So this is going to be really helpful for me to know exactly how much electricity this room is going to cost me. So I can keep it separate from the other part of the house. So now I'm just going to drill the holes, mount the box, and get these wires ran. So this is where the network cable goes to. Network cable connects into, comes out of here. This is for CT1, CT2. This is gonna monitor the electricity, which these are CT1, CT2. And then power in a neutral. I need to get a little screwdriver. And this is gonna mount in there. these two These are the CTs. These are what's going to monitor the electricity. Need to mark these.
Okay, now I'm wiring up the the meter. So I need to wire up the, the power and then the neutral. So I turned all the power off in this box. So safety first. I'm gonna run this in the back. That's the neutral. Okay, line one is gonna come over. I'm gonna connect into this one. CT1 will go on line one. CT2 will go on line 2. And then there's the load. So that needs to go down. You can see here it says load. I'm going to put that going down. Okay, now I'm going to hook up the push meter. This is what connects the electrical meter over here. Connects this little meter with this wire into here and then I can connect it to the network and then I'll be able to access this meter from my computer and read the, the usage so they also have a wireless one where you can connect it's like a little Wi-Fi adapter um, but I'm gonna have a switch in here anyway so I figured this would be fine I can just plug it right into the switch it's going to be on the same network as the miners, so it should work out. Okay, I'm going to get these wires right. I just need to hook up the blue, two blue, because it's the same that's inside there, so it connects 
Let me take this off and show you. So there's a A and a B. And here I connected the blue to A and the white and blue to B. So I just do the same thing on this one. So I'll only use the white and the blue. And down there, those are all the power. Um, CT1, CT2, and I have uh, line one, line two, and then a neutral. So that's all hooked up. It's actually running. So now I just need to, need to hook this up so I can access the meter in. You can configure some settings of what you want the readout to be, but I just want to be able to check monthly of how much power this is pulling so I can configure the bill. Okay, another update here. So here are the vents. They're gonna vent the room. So here it is, I got these shelving. And then I'm gonna connect two miners, two and miners to each one and vent them out. So hopefully it's gonna be big enough and push the air out. Have the miners over here, some ducting like this. Connect it into that out there, blow the air out, out here. So yeah, that's how it's gonna be. A little mining room. Gonna put a rig in there right now in the bottom. Gonna put a rig down there right now and set it up and test out the first rig. Okay guys, this is an update. Outside, still not done, but it will be soon. Here's the vents. Got one of them running. You can see it's, it's going here out. Here's some stucco stuff. But let's get in here. Hey, how's it going guys? So this is the website that um, it's the company that has the metering, the meter that I installed in the mining room. Um, so you go there, they have a lot of different products. The one I got is the 120 to 240 package. And they've it comes in a kit, you know, and you can just you install it. They have directions, you know, it's pretty easy. Then once you get it set up, you can come to a web page like this and it'll tell you how much power it's using. So now I know. Look at it tells me exactly the kilowatts and then I just know based on my kilowatt fee um how much I'm using every month, which is very awesome. It's good to know. I'm glad I can buy I have this meter. Then I don't have to guess. You don't have to guess how much electricity you're using. So the room is done, just other than the stucco on the outside. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll post other updates. You know, I'm going to put. I have uh, three L3 Litecoin miners coming, and I have one in silicone A5 dash miner coming. So those will be going into this room also. And then I have another couple um, GPU rigs that I'm going to be building and putting, excuse me, putting those in there. So it's going to be full and. It's doing so far with just one rig and 
one ant miner excuse me it's doing really well the noise we can barely hear it from the outside so that's really good it holds all the noise inside really well but um okay guys it's late it's like 3 25 in the morning tired but peace have a good night peace